anybody remember preschoolers? Does anybody remember that? I just got a letter. I just got a letter. I just got a letter. I wonder who it was from. I just disappointed like 20 people with that. <laughs> so today we will be reviewing the three items in this box from the NYX High Glass Collection, which Influencer decided to so very graciously send over to me. Just want to give a very quick disclaimer. I am not being compensated for any of this. These are my true feelings on all of these items. And this is simply a complimentary item that was sent to me so that I can review it for you guys and so that you guys can get the real 411 on whether these items work, they're usable, and they're cute. So we're gonna go ahead and open this up. And we have the high glass face primer, the high glass finishing powder, and the high glass illuminating powder. So basically, in layman's terms, we have a primer, we have a setting powder, and then we have a highlighter. So if you guys want to see my true feelings on these items, then just keep watching. So as you got from the intro, today we're going to be reviewing three items from the NYX High Glass Collection, which is going to be the High Glass Face Primer, the Finishing Powder, and then the Illuminating Powder. So I might look like a greasy mess by the end of the day. Might not. Let's find out. So apparently we have the three items here in hand. I now do not use any finishing powder, so today is going to be very interesting because I can either look like freaking glowing goddess <laughs> or this could turn out into a mess, but we're about to find out. So the first thing that we're going to start off with is my Super Matte Moisturizer by Sephora. I'm not putting my face oil like I usually do because I do not know if this face primer is hydrating or oily or so on and so forth. Now, what I did read up on this primer is that it just gives you a glow from within. So that's about all that I have with that. So let's read. Yeah, just as a face primer. That's all. Let's actually look this up. So the high glass face primer comes in three different colors, moonbeam, rose quartz and sandy glow. I have rose quartz and it is $17. Now, why we love it, that's what they say. Create a perfect base for an all day luminous look. So it's a luminous face primer. This gorgeous primer formula is infused with light reflecting pearls to create the illusion of a translucent glass skin. Silky to the touch, glides smoothly, creating a fresh and healthy look that will be that can be worn alone or under foundation for a glowy, prolonged wear. Available in three flattering shades for a wide range of skin tones, this glass skin primer is the next step after your glass skin routine. Glass skin is defined by NYX as evolving from K-Beauty's dedication to a healthy, glowy, hydrated look, hydrated looking complexion Glass skin refers to skin that looks translucent, smooth, and reflective, just like a pane of glass. So let's go on with it, right? So the second product, which is the High Glass Finishing Powder, also comes in three shades. This is going to be light, medium, and deep. And basically, this is a versatile formula that was designed to be worn over high glass face primer, or the foundation of choice, available in three light reflecting shades, which stretch across light to deep skin tones. 
Each shimmering setting powder sets your makeup and gives the complexion a sleek, polished, glass-like glow. So there we have that. Then we have the third and final product that we will be reviewing today, which is the High Glass Illuminating Powder. And this also comes in three different colors. This comes in Daytime Hollow, Golden Hour, and Moon Glow. I have Daytime Hollow. And this is $12. And this is a pressed gel highlighting powder with packed luminous micro pearls that catch, reflect, and refract the natural light for multi-dimensional mirror-like sheen. Specifically designed to go with your glass-like regimen, this highlighter comes in three inclusive shades. Sounds about right. So if this is going to give me glass-like skin, let's get on with it. I know that was a very long intro, but thank you for bearing with me. We have to do these things to know exactly what we're getting into. So the first thing that we're going to put on is some of this Rose Quartz High Glass Face Primer. I'm gonna put a dollop on my finger, like so. And I am going to actually start by dotting it on my face. Now, as I saw, they have a specific brush that they did not send me. So you know. Improvise, adapt, overcome. So let me get that brush. I'm gonna go ahead and get that brush. It's going to be the e.l.f. Small Stipple Brush. And let's go ahead and see what this will do for us. Now, I love glass skin, but what I will end up doing also is apply. I'm actually going to apply a little bit more. A little bit of pore filling primer just around my nose, just because you know how that works. Tap on that. Now, one thing that I really like doing is anything that is, has this little luminous sheen underneath, I go ahead and I put it under my eyes, just because what I have noticed is, what I've noticed is that anything with a little slight sheen actually helps when I go to put on my concealer because my under eye circles don't look as bad. So a little tip, let's see if this actually helps with that. So day. We'll put it right here, we'll put it on the nose, and I think we're all done with that. So, I know we're gonna go in with, you know, drugstore, but then high-end, but I'm going to go in with the Dior Backstage. And we're going to use, I'm gonna put some on the back of my hand, and we're gonna use a stippling brush to kind of stipple this through. I'm going to make it very light and airy um, and I really like this foundation because it is very light. If you want to know what my favorite makeup products, high-end and drugstore, I will have a video very soon coming up with all of that information. So stay tuned. So we're gonna take a stippling brush. I have the MAC 187 and very gently. Oh, this does like shine through my foundation. That's crazy. Now I do know what I just did wrong because I said that I was going to put pore filling primer and didn't. So I'm just going to deal with the product of my decisions and we're just gonna try it just with this primer changing what we set out to do but improvise adapt overcome so does anybody know that meme or am i just the only one because my friends just use it all the time Up. Just go 
one and this. So I'm going to actually go ahead and do my contour and put it, I'm going to go ahead and off camera do my contour and my, so I'm going to go ahead and do my contour and my concealer and then I will be right back so that we can go ahead and do this finishing powder. Okay, so I went ahead and set my under eye with some Cody Airspun, and that's just because, to be quite honest, I do not like an illuminating setting powder under my eyes. That's just a personal preference. So we're gonna go ahead and set the rest of my face, which I do not normally do, with the high glass finishing powder. So what I do like about this primer is even though I went ahead and put my foundation on, put my contour, put my concealer on, I can still see that my skin is a little bit luminous and it still has that healthy glow peeking out. So it didn't completely go away. So I really do like that. So we're gonna go ahead and open up this high glass. I'm gonna go ahead and just do a very quick swatch. Now, I do believe this is my shade, but it does have a certain golden sheen to it. So we are going to actually concentrate this on my forehead and my kind of like a bronzer type thing. So I'm going to go ahead with my Wet n Wild blush brush. I know it's weird, but I just absolutely love this. Now this does have a lot of kickback. So as you can see, it has some kickback right here at the bottom. But Nonetheless, we're going to tap it off Ooh. and proceed to set my face with this. I guess I'm just going to use this as a bronzer. <laughs> now, it is pretty nice. Now, I would not tell you to use this all over your face. As a setting powder, no. Unless that is your MO. But no, I would not use this all over my face. As a setting powder? Eek. No, sir. Nope. Now, it is very pretty, and what I would even consider using this for is kind of like one of those days that I just want to, you know, get out of the house with barely any makeup on so like just concealer and just put this on the high points of my cheeks this would be a nice one because it's very it's a very toned down highlighter basically so i don't know if you can notice like on my cheek i can tell that it's very golden right there um, i'm gonna go ahead and do this on the finger but I really like that. I'm going to go ahead and bronze my cheeks on camera and we'll be right back. Just because this is a more muted color, I just went in with my Pixie by Perla um, in Subtle Sunrise and went ahead with this champagne and just, you know, contoured, further highlighted contoured my nose. But now we are going to go in with the High Glass Illuminating Primer and put this on our cheeks and hope to baby Jesus that it looks good. But before, we're gonna go in with some Bioderma Hydro Bio Soothing Refreshing Water. I really like this because it kind of gives that extra little of a room to your skin. Since we're going for a glassy look, might as well, right? Looking hydrated and beautiful. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this tapered highlighting brush that is clean and I'm just gonna coat the brush with that. And let's see. So what I do like about this highlighter, it 
is very subtle and very cute like your skin glowing but better i like more blending highlights that's one thing to be honest you can stack this up as much as you would like somewhere here so i'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my makeup off camera go about my day and then be back at the end of the day with my final thoughts and conclusion on these three items okay bye it is currently 11 22 p.m i am back from the day and we put this makeup on around 2 30 and so we got a good nine hours of use out of this makeup so let us get to the verdict i'm going to get my trusty beautiful mirror and we will see how we like it so first things first my makeup moved right here probably because i was snuggling with my dog so i can see where the makeup kind of slid off right here same thing right here on my chin on my chin i know my dog licked my chin so that could be the reason as to why i see no foundation on my chin and then this cheek is actually pretty solid right now so the thing is i can see the oils peeking through right here right here i know you can see it too and on my forehead and on my nose i did on occasion like tap like the places that i felt really oily in where i couldn't stand it um the primer is actually pretty good if i put this primer alongside my dr brandt pores no more i feel like it's doable like i definitely feel like it's doable i feel like i would really really like that so let's get started with how we feel about this the primer is good i really like it it makes me look and feel glowy yes some of my foundation did come off in the place that i used the finishing powder however to be quite honest it's been nine hours it never said that it was going to be long wear so that's the first thing that we also have to keep in mind but all in all this primer is a good check like i really really like it i think when i go to use it again i would just use it in the places that i really want to be highlighted um under my eyes i would not use it again i would just go back to my anastasia beverly hills liquid glow and just put a couple dots because i feel like it helps with how my concealer looks and how my under eye bags look I know it's weird but test it try it trust me it'll work but I'm gonna go ahead and get my beauty blender and just pat away any like excess um oil that I feel now my forehead is really oily like really oily but to be quite honest this did pretty well now it isn't a pore filling pr a pore filling primer however i feel like my pores actually do not look as bad throughout the day obviously like on the creases around my nose it's not all there anymore but to be quite honest we have a good thing that we have a good thing right here i really really like this now going on to the finishing powder honestly one of the cons is the kickback. Second of all, I do not feel like I would use this all over my face as a finishing primer, nor would I use it under my eye. However, I do like this for one of those days that I decide to go ahead and do a bronzy glow. Really like it. It has a very beautiful, like golden sheen that makes you look like just a glowing goddess which i really really like so if you're somebody who doesn't really like that just 
powerful highlight and you just want something subtle and just something that gives you a glow from within, I definitely recommend this. I will be reaching for this, definitely, um, for like glowy summertime looks. I know some people like to, and I would say like, you know how like geek girls love to like do like a bronze blush look? You can just take some of this high glass and just put it like around right here. I prefer to contour my nose, so I won't be doing that, but I want to say this is approved too, because to be quite honest, I like it, and it gave me a cute bronze look, even though it's not a bronzer, but you can use it as one. Let's be practical here. Let's be practical. And lastly, the High Glass Illuminating Primer. I like this because, you know, it has a gel like consistency and to be quite honest this isn't the most blinding highlight however it does give you that summertime glow now this would kind of like let me make this easy if i had to rate these from blinding absolutely blinding is going to be the butter highlighter from physician's formula so here's blinding then we're gonna have the illuminating powder and then we're gonna have the finishing powder so this is a good in between if you don't like how subtle this is and you don't like how blinding this is i would just go ahead and pick up the high glass it has a very beautiful sheen it looks very glowy i love the gold undertone like to be quite honest like it's not that bad like the glow isn't that bad it's not what i like i'm actually gonna go ahead and swatch this on the inner i love how it feels though like is that weird because it is that like weird putty like gel like consistency but i'm gonna go ahead and just swatch it in the middle of my hand and you know like it does have a very good reflectiveness that's like a lot better than what it is on my cheek. I might actually, let's do this. We're gonna, since this is so much more blinding on my hand than on my cheek, I'm gonna go in with my Y11 brush from Morphe. And I'm just, I'm gonna really go in there cause shoot, why are you looking blinding now? Yeah, same thing. Hmm. Okay, so it's a good, subtle highlight, but it's a good highlight, but it's not blinding, if you get what I mean. So, but I really like how golden this looks. It looks really golden hour. If you know one thing about me, I love any highlighter that makes me look like it's golden hour all day long. That's just one thing about me um, and that don't look weird when you look straight on because some of them have like this weird reflectiveness where if it's not head on, it looks just either either brown or like pink or gray. So sometimes it has that like ugly shift, but I honestly really like this. Maybe you even have to like put your fingers on it. I don't know. But it is a good highlighter. I'm going to honestly give this whole high glass trio like an A. Like I definitely am going to give them an A. Obviously the finishing powder isn't for me, but I will definitely be using this and reaching for this as a glowy bronzer during the summertime. This face primer is really, really good. I actually might be not might be i will be reaching for this very often on my cheeks and like on the higher points of my forehead so yeah well so all in all guys the nyx high glass trio gets an a for me like it's really good i am pleasantly surprised and i will definitely be reaching for all of these items this is not the last time you will see these items in my videos 
If you guys did try this out, go ahead and leave a comment down below which one was your favorite item. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Like if you like this video, please go ahead and leave a like. And you know something? You're going to always be here. You're always going to click on another video. So might as well subscribe. Might as well ring the bell. Do it. Just, just do it. Because you know, at this point, I know what's best for you. And that's what's best for you. <laughs> Thank you guys again for watching. And I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.